Yeah, and two characters I want to stay a little bit further, at least initially. Because Chaos has, has Curse, can stay around that 2P range, can get in just like this, like XX is showing. And now, Hatchel kind of can't do anything while Curse. Yeah, it, it, it becomes very hard to play neutral, but good 5P in the 2P to just check them, to make sure that actually XX can't play the game. No need in though to get a hard knockdown, and you're going back into neutral. It's chaos and the 2P just have a menace. Yeah, and now Empire does spend the red RC. Going with Rainwater, yeah, that move. It's just too good. It's one of the best moves in this game, just on Axel, so it's not broken. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that combo is kind of nice. Just nice checks here. Just getting them to the corner. They are cursed, so X isn't going to be able to get in here and get the pressure going. Oh, I'm tired sneaking in with the commander. I'm trying to first bait from the wind vision combo. Ooh. Oh, and they're just right now. Yeah, yeah they that's. Unlucky timing. Speaking of unlucky timing, that the flag shield just dodged every single attack that XX threw out. I think it was a good idea to deflect shield, but unfortunately, they, when they still have bullets out, you have to block in that situation. Yeah, full screen, you're gonna get caught by steady hand. Equalize when that goes around. A run up to H just winning out there for Empire. And now it's a pretty decent spot. Oh, I got caught trying to press forward just a second too early, and I'm just gonna take that all the way to the base. Yeah, getting this positive bonus going. Good two feet at round start though from Empire. Able to take the turn back and get some pressure on the board. Still a slight health lead though for XX. But no meter now on Empire from that because up here to get off the first to keep it full screen situation. Oh Rain my water. God. Yeah. Yo. Jimmy. Yeah. Pulling the opponent in just to rainwater them? That is some devious. I can get oh caught by the skill. They, they were blocking there, but at the, I guess they tried to jump or punish there. And they were a little bit too close, so getting caught. Empire are going to take that 1 0. Yeah, uh, that's definitely one of those times where if you're XX, it, it sucks, but you just got to deal with it. And if you're Empire, you're just like, we take those. I feel like you could see, like, that they want, they were trying to make their way, way in very slowly, and then once they got close, they're like, okay, I'm gonna be, like, it's still not gonna be my turn. Let me try to punish this, and just, Do unfortunately, one. not going to be able to. Oh, another rainwater. Yeah. For Chaos, that seems like a very annoying move to deal with around start. It's not, not anything that jumps out to me Chaos can do that's not highly committal to stop Rainwater from just being pressed. I feel like you could, like, what I used to do is I used to, like, try to just test them a lot with Air Dash. Try to see if they're gonna try to RPS with, like, with it a lot. But that is, like you said, committal. Just block, but still a little bit hard to take back the turn until of course you know catch it with the shot didn't get the full link there's a second and third hit the flex will get baited out once again xx cannot beat a flex shield in this game yeah, then, honestly it's uh yeah it's effectiveness has been not been uh not been great for empire this game Oh, good back though. Choosing the 5k there just like ended up being a great Abari option. Oh, the throw bait with the rainwater. I love to see it. Basically, check me. Wonder, I wonder what that was, that was intended to be from XX there. That just came, misinput came out as 6s. I'm curious too, but whatever it was, was getting stuff across screen by Empire, and that was also getting across screen. Oh, dang. They're both trying to zone here, but it's not working for Empire. These 5k far slashes, they, they feel so fake, but XX is just pressing in between and finding these counter hits, and yeah. 
Why are saying when Axel's doing a special cancelable move is such a risk because of rainwater, it will always bait out YRC. Yeah. We're looking real good for Empire though. Going up 2-0 over XX in our first game of the night. You know, Axel looking to take an advantage today. Maybe before they uh, get a little light buffs in the patch. Mankind knew that they cannot yeah. change X society. XX is not out of the yet. Duel one. No, there, there's absolutely a reverse 3 out here in XX, I believe. Ooh, first wild salt pressure coming out for Empire. Double wild salt. That wrist is cranky. Yo, watch your wrist. Oh no! <laughs> oh my God! Look at the look at the, the damage is crazy on that. But XX is going to fight back, able to get. A nice combo and able to stuff the command drive yet again. Empire, I think they're uh, one for like five on that right now. Nice air dash, well not air dash, nice jump in. Yeah, and finally, you know, Xbox will take the full cash out here. Already at 100 meter, why, why loop a little bit more? We want to back that from way of forcing the burst out. I don't think that's gonna work how Empire wanted it to. An aggressive burst? No. Oh, no. I didn't say XX had that, but just at the end, doing 6H and it whipping it, the five keys have just been very good from Empire, especially when they're at the speed space full screen, where it's a little bit harder for Chaos to press. Oh, nice, nice crouch under. They're able to, to punish the, the five, the five keys. All the 2k wins, and that gives Empire prime opportunity. Finding a YRC, but the reversal is not going to hit. They don't have many resources here. Only one bullet, but there's... Oh! That finally a flex shield that finds its mark. Yeah, and that was really good, too, because Axex is out of bullets, and that final close slash seals the deal. We're going to see the set, so. Yeah, match. Oh, round start 6 H from Walter. Oh, like it's 2k, 2 Gs. Oh, and the 5k, there wasn't 6 H to come out after it. Walter don't care though. Whoa, okay. Good interruption coming out from a boy. Oh my gosh, yeah, all the Garudas. Bot Buster, get the grab. That was a good Karo. And but Walter gonna deflect shield to try to get out of here. Finally it yeah. has enough room for him to backdash. Nice far slash punish and able to, to throw the reflect Finishes out in the corner. Oh no, it drops! And the YRC from a boy into oh, I'm, I'm plus 10. I'm throwing you! Amazing I'm, read there from a boy. I don't care how many resources you use, you're getting thrown. Oh, that 2K just barely whiffing. Walter gets that cross up JS. Think. Ah. <laughs> Oh, the I did not know Estes was fast enough for that. Wow. Good punish, but job's not over. A boy still in this round. It is Potemkin against Milia, so anything can happen, but that is going to be a counter pick. Yeah. 5 8 in the optimal combo in the corner to be able to get that perfect and send us to a round 3. Oh, starting off with that far slash counter hit. Millie got that nine framer. I feel like they've been slowly buffing most of her moves to be like super solid in like the ranges that they're trying to do. Oh! Oh, couldn't get a punish. Yeah. Unfortunately, because of the gold burst. Oh, oh tried to beat out the burst? And he tackled? Alright, he tackled. Oh, what are you going to do? I, I feel like heat tackle gives you such good OK sometimes. Oh my gosh, this is a pot special with button into back mega fist. Gets, gets the barrage into the throw. Going for the mix here. 
opposite side, and this can't kill because it's Peter, but it is going to become close. One in the corner, and a boy not going to block. Uh, I don't know which side that was. That was kind of a, you know, when, when she starts air dashing like that over you in the corner, it is kind of hard to tell. But uh, going to be 1-0 for Walter. to our next one. This is an explosive matchup, I feel like. Uh, I feel like I've seen, like, the, these two characters face off, in my opinion, more more than average in tournament. I feel like I've seen this matchup a million times, especially from uh, where I'm from Duel in, in Dallas. This used to be classic. Yo, the Mirage to get around Hammerfall? Yeah, that was godlike. Get around the armor is just like, using that kind of movement to just avoid it is not something I, I do for it. Mix going online. Great blocks, but a boy. Yeah, you're just unable to block everything that Walter's gonna throw out. Use the right RC for the full confirm. The kill. Yes, another perfect. That's two. Perfect on the board for Walter in this match, but all right, a boy just going for the Kara. Able to get air commander. Speed knuckle. Oh, oh my god, it's the back oh, hit oh, ever. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> and now and now he's dead! Goodbye! <laughs> the game said you must lose! Hey, you gotta follow the script! <laughs> it must be round three every time, okay, Walter? Every time! Okay, big power hit. Able to get some Oki. He blocks the burst! And that's gonna be, like, super bad for a boy. You have to survive for a lot longer here to be able to put it, get back on offense, but you're not gonna have any burst! Yeah. Well, that uh, Bad Moon once again working out wonders. And the back Vegas fist as well. Like this could be a boy's chance. First is gone from Walter. Oh, not blocking the low though. And charged by the is gonna end it. Walter going up 2-0. Uh, this is another match where I'm like, I'm seeing I can I'm seeing the a boy vision. I can see mm -hmm. what, what's happening. But just not able to close it out in those round threes. Just Walter just walking right over. Okay, a boy's vision. Truly one of the visionaries of pop. One of the most fun <laughs> players to watch play this character every single time. I always hype for an a boy set. For sure. Okay. Spaced out. Try to predict the, the air movement. But Walter gonna stay put in the corner. Has to face all of this pressure still. Oh, oh no, the second Garuda! Yeah, two. optimal to kill there for a boy. And we're gonna get a capital at the beginning of the round. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gotta get... It's the second best button Milia's gonna press. That far slash, that, that feels like it shouldn't work. Sometimes I forget how good that far slash is. <laughs> Very good at checking people trying to, to hit long range buttons versus this character. And still decent. Alright, well, not anymore. We're gonna be able to bait first as well. Because they, they get the air hit. We're going around three in this game three. Yeah, a boy needs to really find something here. Who's that hammerfall break reading Mirage? A boy is sick with it. Gets the counter to us, same side. Stage, big damage here before, even as 15 meters, do more damage. So, boy, off the first. But you gotta get able to pop like Taco. Yeah, and that's gonna be a winger going to break the wall, get more damage, because the boy's not getting burst back. Not not this game. Stone Sifting meter here. And they're able to get the pack. Mega Fist, but is gonna be punished, and that's gonna be Walter taking it 3 0 over a boy. Wow. What a catch there from Walter. Had the full combo ready to kill. 
3-0. Kings of Illyria of times gone by. I forgot that color was in the game. Oh, the, the season 4 color? Yeah, I'm trying to use that armor to, to get in here. You gotta be able to chase Jank to the other form. Get the super? Oh, yeah, I like the quick super here. Yeah, getting the burst bait would be the most optimal thing, but also a positive bonus. But but you can see it there. Like they were already being getting burst there. Uh, unfortunately, no, not enough meter in the situation. Too hard, hard knockdown. But it's gonna be able to get blocked and get that 2K 2D. First round going to lag spin. Yeah, there's definitely a thing to be said about getting your quick rounds where you can take them. Knowing when's a good time to bait first, when you should just take your damage. Especially because as you stack it up, Leo consistently is one of those characters you do not want to go down game one and lose your burst at the same time. The losing formula. For sure. But Mike Spike on the disadvantage right now. And Oh wait, how did you say his name? Chonklatomica. Okay, Chonklatomica. Okay. Okay. Lag is gonna use some of their bursts. Oh, the shimmy! Lag Spike playing Street Fighter. Yeah, they're trying to. And it's mixed time for Lag Spike. Only needs one or two here. Able to kick the backdash with the 2K. And OTG situation. But Chonkla able to turn it around into their favor. Still a big health difference, but I mean, not looking too big anymore. No, but well, Wake Up Super is a possibility. The burst is going to get faded. Chonklatomica taking notes from Danny, and that'll be a game one on the board. Bit of a panic there at the end from Lag Spike. Yeah. They, were, they were up in the round, but often use those defensive options a little bit too early. Yeah, it, even like knowing that Chonklo was very, very likely to do the 5k safe jab as Kai, Leo does get solid mix off of Wake Up Super RC with specifically fast RC into the crossover because that just gives you free back turn. It's a guaranteed cross push. Oh, wow. 6p round start working out. Okay, 2K2D. No, no back turn off of that. Big counter slip, counter hit far slash up. Gonna use the burst and a big counter hit JH. So both players, no burst. Very similar on that meter, but lag got got Chonkla in the corner, but Chonkla fighting back. Absolute. Wow, that 2K just coming out before far slash can do anything. And lag spike is gonna cash out on it quick and easy. Has to be careful of the meter, and yeah, Chonko ready for that wake-up throw. Honestly, especially with that meter value, the cross-up ends up being very risky. And speaking of risky, uh, that was very risky, and it's going to be punished by Chonko. Lag Spike, yet again, I'm like, I'm thinking, like, they're so up in the round, and then it comes to the end of Chonko, clutching it out. Nice far slash, all right? Able to get the mix going. Nice cross-up. Good DP on that 2148. Throw. Simple, simple, clean punishes, stack up the damage. And apply, oh my, but the wake up dash 2D. Oh, that was a crazy dash 2D as well, like in that position, but not gonna be able to chase down. It's probably, yeah, and then they bait the first. And that's yeah, gonna be that it, Chonkla. That was a very much a you have to burst here, but also your opponent knows you have to burst here and has the ability to bait it out. One of those unfortunate 50-50 situations. Especially when they use the um uh what am I forgetting in it? The the move that uses burst. I, I am forgetting new things. Wild Assault? Okay. Yeah, when they use use Wild Assault, they could have they could have bursted in the combo, like earlier in the combo, but they got walled assaulted, so they didn't have burst until that point, and then it was already too late. They had already RC'd and baited it. Oh, Ooh, is, is Lag Spike? Oh, huh. oh uh, Lag Spike wants, wants side one. 
Okay. Interesting. Uh, Interesting. Okay. I guess we're going for that change, but for some pe for some people, this is really like important. So I kind of understand yeah. it. Oh, they wanted their music. Ah, that. You could you could hear the music change for sure. Yeah, there's a lot of things where changing the sides can help. Ooh. I know for a long time when I was grinding brackets, I preferred side two. Which, I mean, it's very easy. Very few people will argue with me as to decide to. Good punish on the charging of the projectile. I, I mean, I think I always just put the side one. Oh, no, the wild is hitting. So few people are ready for raw wild assault to work. DK? Alright, kind of guaranteed that it will kill. <laughs> Not make sure it won't miss. Chocolate on set point here. Get that 3 0. Able to catch the dash in. Ooh, what a good counter hit, but cannot confirm it into lasting advantage. The 2D trading is positive, but never like to see a trade when you can get a win. For sure. Find the 2D. Yeah. People. Gonna be able to Right, people, people always forget that Leo players can and will use 2D as a frame trap. Because you get so used to when you're facing Leo or Geo where the 2Ds are not traditional. That, you know, they're not going to do 2K 2D as pressure, right? And then it happens, and then the counter hits, and you feel bad. It's going to be... Oh, oh it drops! Oh, no. And the cross... That cross up to end it. We're going to round three, but Chonk was still at set point with that slate. Restart the damage. Wait, excuse me. Far Slash just clashed with a 6P? Yep, welcome to. Oh, my high key scale. Oh, the god mode. People wanted to say that Far Slash nerf wasn't warranted. Kiss, kiss. Very first. Fable there. Oh no. Oh my no. Black Spike. I respect it. I respect going for double flash kick. Uh, I feel like Elfield's definitely in a pretty solid place and Chaos always the the big old menace that he is. But well, don't let the Elfel players hear that. They're gonna come out after you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Naoki, a little bit locked oh! down here. What did he say? Nice. Excess? Just, just like charging right right in front of Naoki. No, no, not afraid. Yeah, zero fears whatsoever, especially with that aggressive wire C. Oh. I waited. Yeah. Oh, good 6P. Yeah. 6P is really good against Alpha for sure. It's like. It, it, it's a good OS against a lot of her, like, runs. Like, if she wants to get pressure going, she usually needs to do something that is 60. But, we'll see. Ooh, wow, that barely clipped on the way over. Not in a way that's combo and a scapegoat. Getting down Mr. President for SS. Just let them stay hand right in front of them, but... How much you could do as Elfo, not a lot of offensive options. Other than that 2P. Woo! Oh, the 5P whip? I think that was, that was most likely supposed to be a 6P, but a little too late got turned into 5. Okay, finds a low 6H starter. And I'm going to be able to kill with the super, but not going to not gonna do it. One more chance here for XX in this round, too. Cool. And yeah, even if XX loses the round here, you touch first on the way to round number three, and that is a massive boom. Oh, and they're oh. cross up. <laughs> oh, that was a pretty good cross up. Dual three. Like you said there, they're down burst here. A little bit, you cannot get hit, or we put in this mix in the corner like you did in round one, you have to fight back. And it's looking much better for them than it did back then for sure. Oh, nice throw. 
and gets the uh, gets the hit on the way down. Mix here, or are they just gonna just gonna zone? Woo. Oh, getting caught by the J H. And yeah, do that bridal express break the wall. Very scary. XX sitting with two full sticks of butter here, ready to churn. Yeah, but might have to use it here on a YRC to get out of the corner, or they're just gonna jump out. Okay, but stuck in stuck in the mix. YRC comes out, like I said. Oh, not first, not biting, and Nayuki dies with it. A little bit too late, on the, probably on that recognition that they needed a burst, or they even had burst, but almost got it there. Almost made it across the finish line, but XX able to, to come back, steal it. Good stuff to them, but many games still be still be played, and we'll see if New Yuki can come back. Yeah, Chaos is one of those weird characters to fight where there's a lot that you need to piece together very, very quickly, and sometimes it can just be a little, a little too little too late in order to piece together what you need. Every Chaos player plays in a slightly infuriating different way. And For the, sure. The key really is <laughs> get, get over who you're playing and be able to fight them. I, I like the frame trap. They they delayed that 2D a lot, so that way they were making Yugi think that they were not gonna go for any stagger after that. And equalizing these health bars is one bar and a positive bonus for Yuki. Good scapegoat make make Yuki get off of them. Oh, but the cross up is able to get the full conversion. We're still going into record mix. Oh my goodness, I hit on the way down. There's a very low life, and yeah, I think XX tried to feather FD there at the end to try and stay alive longer, and just feathering is such a hard thing to do in Strive. Oh, ended up, ends up getting punished for the low. No, no real ender at the end. Okay. Oh. Oh, couldn't get the hit off there. There are bullets. That's huge for Nayuki. And yeah, Nayuki going to be able to get the wall break, but this is RPS at this round start because he, it's XX wants those bullet packs, for sure. Your second hit on the way down. Oh, could not get the last connection there. Just a little too far away on that Bridal Express. Okay, first of another corner, gets the throw, able to get at least one bullet in the chamber to get a combo going, and gets even more off of this, and this, and this is looking pretty bad for Nuyuki, but both players so low on health. The 5 HP! The bridal just not getting whipped punished, but XX finds a hit later on down the line. Nice frame trap. Able to get the Oki with the 6 to H as well. The Flex Shield gets XX out of the corner. And able to get the Curse Ball. And no block on the cross up. It's caught. Oh wow, the running from XX. Too far into it. Gave Nayuki quite a lot of space to work with. Nayuki capitalized perfectly. Okay, nice throw. Gonna be able to get some bullets in the chamber. For this. Oh, nice flex shield. Yeah. First. Flex shield being really potent against Elfel in particular because she does not like to be far away against many characters, especially not Happy Chaos. Oh, and that should be it. Yeah. yeah. to take it. Mayuki going to even up the score line. It's stuff for them. I, I totally agree about the Deflect Shield. The Deflect Shield, like, I feel like all of the Season 3 characters are, like, affected by Deflect Shield in one way or another. Like, they, they all, they all have to deal with it, especially. And Elfelt was the first character that came out. Right? I'm not crazy, right?
No, that was Johnny. That was Johnny. No, it was Johnny then Elfo. Man. <laughs> yeah. It was Johnny then Elfo. Because Johnny was after you. Elfo was at the game awards. Oh my gosh, all the concentration getting caught, forcing the burst out of XX. We got a little side swap on the hand. And the double roll. Yeah, no, no reaction throw to those goals. And able to get the positive bonus going. Okay. <laughs> Gonna Goomba Stomp there. Good jump. Able to get yeah. out of the mix, but so very low on health still. You don't want to use first tier. Oh, absolutely not. Not with this life disparity. Just take those beats. <laughs> Chaos. Wins. Duel 2. And let's rock. The Yuki. Wait, no. XX. <laughs> Taking yeah, that round one. I just realized the name. Our Switch. The Yuki is the name of the Elfo player. Yeah, they decided to switch sides after the last game. <laughs> Oh no, this is just a little too fast to punish the flag shield. Very unfortunate for Nayuki there. Alright, but XX does drop the combo. And I feel like Nayuki has won a chance, but the 5D. I feel like they could have killed him there. But either way, still no death, but able to find the throw to end it this time. XX going up 2 1 over Nuki. <laughs> Chaos. Chaos. I feel like uh, XX had a much better time trying to control the uh, the pace that time, at the very least. They were uh, catching them, not hitting any defensive buttons, and just uh, getting those throws. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Nayuki does has a little little bit of a tough road ahead to claim this last game out of second chances. But if Nayuki can take one game, you can take a set. Mankind for sure. I feel like I've seen them. Uh, I feel like I haven't seen them use a lot of two uh, P when they're in the corner, or at least to try to like try to get out of some of these situations where they're getting mixed. But. It is very scary against the you know, chaos and gonna get caught, but air dashing out of there and now XX is in the corner. XX P though. Oh, nice wire C and very, very aggressive there from Nayuki. Just bursting feet. XX locked in the corner. I tried to guarantee that that second reco, but XX able to find the hit before the two stage came out. Not enough meter to actually finish it off there, but able to just get up to get the walk up throw. This has been so effective in this match. And XX is going to go on to set point. The JP start us off in this last round. This might be our last round, I should say. The jumps finally finding their mark, but the Yuki still not able to find the right of the corner. Getting thrown yet again. Into that slow slash meaty. Yeah, and there's. Going to be a kill. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. I thought we were gonna get a post wall break situation. Nope. Downs again, which is crazy to think about. But here we go. We've got Walter coming back up, and same with Chunkla Tomica. Well, Kai yeah. versus Milia action. I feel like Walter. Walter's like I know this guy character. Playing, I feel like him, him and Danny play so often, but it doesn't matter. This isn't Danny, so let's see if Chonkla is able to get it out here. Get that way. Oh my god. <laughs> Just eventually do food arc it up, and Walter's gonna get tired of it and close slash you. Oh, that, like, far slash still catching them and able to get the mix up out after that into the 2k TD. Oh my god, 2 h and far slash traded? Wild things are happening tonight. Yeah, but these traits are not working out in Chonkla's favor right now. And even this backdash is just like going right into the corner. Good air stall, and now you've got Walter in the corner. But Walter, you gotta get out of there, and that far slash is dominating the neutral today. 
Ooh, yeah, Chonkla's got one guess left. Burst is on the table, but you're not going to really get a chance to burst after that. As soon as you see the close slash combo, you're like, all right, well, I can't burst anyway. 1-0 for Walter. That was, uh, that was a dominating match, though. Walter looking so good in this first set. We'll see if, if they'll be able to carry that on into game two. Or if Chonko's going to come back. But Chonko may be taking a bit of a different approach already. You can see he's playing a little bit more patiently. And then you can go Future Arc to keep them in the corner after that burst. Oh, caught the back dash. Oh, close line to K route. Yo, this is a little saucy coming out here from Walter. It wouldn't be Walter if, if they weren't showing us some crazy lap combo they've gotten. And that did 75%. So one guess for, for Chonko. Or I guess two. Nah, just one. <laughs> just one. Yeah, sometimes... It'd be like this, where, you know, you're down all your life, and you just get run up Artemis. It's supposed to kill! I, it was supposed to kill! Come on, man! It's Milia. Yeah, it's true. I, I should've known. I should've been known. It's Milia on non-close left starter. Oh, the trade? Oh, but wins the second time. Oh no! I think Walter tried to do Kara Super there. You know, the punishments of Kara Super, they come out where you want that optimal meter gain, so you do risk dropping it all. Good for them. They still built that second Super. If they even need it in that situation, Walter up to a looking, again, just very, very dominant in this set. Uh, Chongla ha has some things going for going well. It's against Walter though. It's, there's there's a time that you need to get your adaptations done, and it's round one, game one. Otherwise, Walter's just gonna keep throwing new things on your plate that you cannot continue to deal with, and your stack of what you can comprehend and deal with is just gonna fall behind the new stuff that Walter's throwing in. I agree. Chonkla does get Walter to the corner. Able to keep him there with Stun Dipper as well. But no meter or burst to, to show for her right now. And nice 6 speed. Weird interaction. Wait, Walter is still going to come out on top. Slightly messed up a safe jump there. Chonkla getting a nice paper thrust. But paper thrust on its own is not going to lead to the turn tabling. Walter has a 100 meter disc out on screen. There's a lot that's going to go wrong real fast. And there it is. Last disc. Oh, my God. <laughs> the, uh, the vapor thrust. This danger for dangerous for Walter. You don't want to get hit. But on the same token, Chongla, only one health to deal with here. Six feet is going to end this. And sends us to set point for Walter. Walter. Yet again, that that bar slash being such a menace in neutral, not letting Chonkla get anything done. But Chonkla, again, we're back to neutral. This this is where Kai is so good, but that bar slash punish from Walter is just too good right now. Yeah, and Chonkla getting to live solely because this broke the wall and bursting there, not really gonna be in the cards. Walter with another 3-0. Flames win number five, only two away. Onsen, and we're playing on the extra looking stage too. I like this stage, it's pretty. Yeah, this is one of my favorites for sure. Ooh, counter hits could not beat the burst though. Mundo getting some extra advantage. Oh, nice, punish eight. Yeah, able to punish that 60, but. Still gonna go under that move. Combo into the corner. No. Not able to get Oki. Just getting thrown into the corner for the troubles. 
Oh, no two H there from Mundo or even 6P. But gets the snipe with the Beyblade. Are you blocking RTL? RTL gets blocked, but no Mundo doesn't have the punish. Uh, it's not an invincible after the first hit. Yeah, it's a guaranteed close slash at minimum for the entire cast. Uh, I guess they forgot that it goes on after that, even if you block it. But either way, Izokai is take Izo. Zaki. I'm trying to make sure I'm saying their name correctly. Sorry about that. But either way, now they're getting burst into the corner. Big counter hit. And this can turn around, but they don't get the OTG hit. So looking like it's going to be an, an Izo guy. Alright. Oh, um, didn't get the Kara Super to kill. And yeah, Mundo has to be really careful here because Isazaki can just send RTL into RC at any point in time. Nice two S, and they find the win. Mundo going to take a turn three. Absolutely. Oh wow, the 5K getting a little hit round start. Bastos, the Nagaryuki classic. I have a question of what to do. Back throw. It works. They still have a 50 meter. Oh, not blocking the. Alright. Uh, I mean, if you're Mundo there, you just need to block the follow up, and, and you would have been fine. Taking a big combo from that reversal situation, and yet again, it's Izaki doing an unsafe uh, jump in. Like you have to space your jump ins in a specific way, where like if you do a move against a big body, they won't be able to instant throw you because that's like a punish. Like yeah, you, you have to uh, you have to be careful about that. Yeah, jump ins, especially on, on the taller of the cast too. It's really easy to have, you know, you're used to maybe your jumpings being plus on block or very close to not throwable. And then with these taller characters, you just do it at the normal time you do for every other character and ends up hitting higher and you get thrown and you cry every single time. Ask me how I know. <laughs> I know, I know that pain as well. Don't worry. Had 50 meter there, but not opting to use it. They're going to be able to get this positive bonus. Put Mundo down on burst. Yeah, absolutely. And there goes the hook stomp. And there is that iron barrel. Yep. Putting, putting it on the board for themselves. Able to close out that round. Oh, wow. That was a great frame trap, but that's definitely very risky sending the, the blood here. And I yeah. think like, Izukai really can't. Not Mundo. Not Izukai. Mundo really couldn't go in there, but Izukai taking advantage of their stability and hitting a big hit here. Yeah, oh, that's God. most of Mun Mundo's health deleted. Izukai finding the meaty throw. And the back dash. Make some good space in the very last couple of active frames in the air. Isuzaki getting a game up there. Yeah. Air back dashes into the JH. They get that win. Even he's up. First to two from here. Yeah. We're playing ye old best of three strive now. <laughs> I don't know if Back anybody. In the old remembers. days. I was gonna say I don't know if anybody remembers first to first to Dual first to two strive. First to two strive was a crazy. Time. Yeah, it was launch soul, launch May. Yeah, but good start from Mundo. Was able to send them to corner, but they are, they do have two blood here. They have to be careful about taking damage. Oh, what in the world just occurred? <laughs> So many awful interactions are happening tonight. It's really, really the spooky season. So you know it's real Halloween. Oh, able to catch whatever button they were hitting in, and it's Ozaki taking that first round of game three. Oh my 
did backdash, but no combo off of that 5k. Oh no. Isazaki tried to get something going, but got stuffed. Finds the crossover from the corner. And get some pressure started. Counter hit hoof stomp is a great way to even up these life totals. Yeah, but I would say Mundo does have a lot of blood to play with here, and they're going to utilize it in these situations. Yeah, you can't match there, and they have super ended if they can. Able to activate it here, regardless of whether this kills it, will be a hard knockdown. But and it kills good. indeed. Yeah. Dual three. Naga, Naga's scaling is usually pretty good for that kind of stuff. All right, hard, hard knockdown in, already in the corner. Able to catch them trying to escape that. That. This is Yeah. Nice match there. Fight was definitely on the table. Look at that blood gauge. That's a lot of extra damage for Isazaki here. And a lot of defensive options Mundo is going to be forced into taking. You, you literally just can't move. But able to get the back throw. And this is basically the exact position you want to be in. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of blood decreasing. Couldn't get the DP out in time. Oh, the well, gold first. Oh. will have to deal with your mix, and so does the DP. Oh, the 5B finally in a 6B. Oh my god, Mundo reacting to the hoof stop. Oh my. Like, I don't think that was a reaction more than just the hardest call out of all time. Yeah. E either Whether it was a reaction or it was just them being like, like trying to call out their offense. It was such a good option there in, in that situation. Well, they were both like, they are both doing a bit of a panic, a bit of a scramble. Mundo coming out on top and taking the lead in the set, going up 2-1 over Isozaki. Dual one. Nice Still needs to win one match here, and got to be starting in the corner and able and getting their backdash punished. Hey, Mundo trying to fight out here. It's pretty locked in the corner. No burst meter means eating this entire combo, letting Isazaki get positive bonus. Oh, getting punished by the, the downward hit of the DP. But back throw. Into the corner. No meter to get a hard knockdown. But. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that's, that's trip out. And just a late jump in as well. Second time that's worked out beautifully for Isozaki. And Isozaki, these DPs are also being very effective in the smash. Getting caught, there's that back throw that Nago is known for. Safe jump in yet again. Tries to do an auto time meaty there. Does mess up the timing and it's it Izaki gonna set him to the corner. Ooh, nice elk cut into throw. And that'll be the game. Isozaki tying it up. Our first game five of the evening. This one going real close at this point. That was a dominant match from Isozaki, but Mundo did take that first did take that game three, so I want to see how they're going to be able to go into that game five. Both players looking very strong against each other. We'll see who comes out on top. I feel like both of them have been getting a lot. We have been getting caught backdashing a lot. Oh, two, two S with no combo? What, what is happening? Were they just have bait birds? Yeah, I think Mundo at the end there with that jump cancel just wanted to bait that burst. He's caught by the 2k and Isozaki ready with the full wild assault confirmed. Very expensive. Not as much damage as you'd like from a super combo, but 
You get to get positive bonus. This is another hard knockdown, looping it. What? No loop here. It kills. Good job from Mizuzaki finding those hits. Just. Oh, this hoop stomp just been so strong against Mundo. No answer currently. That was unsafe, but no punish. Still gonna be a, co be a combo here. That was a bit expensive on the blood when it comes to the combo, but. Mid 6p. Getting that blood back. 2d counter hit. Damn, the first blood wasn't there. Command grab, though! The first bite of the set coming out clutch from Mundo. We're going to game five, last round. Both players all on the line for this set. Nice backdash, but again, again, no punish on it. Catching that backdash. And Wild Assault to get us to the corner. Mundo gonna opt to burst. Doesn't want to have to deal with that damage in the corner. Well, the backdash gets sniped by Elk Hunt. And through the wall, Mundo goes, positive bonus. Isazaki is going to be able to get most of that burst gauge and 50 meter. Did not get the kill there. The burrow, the pop. It's that's beautiful for Mundo. If there's any hit that was death for Isazaki. Oh, with the 5k to end it, the stuff thumb out. Isozaki taking it 3-2 over Mundo. And yeah, going up. Nah, no, it's, okay. it's all good. It's all good. You know, you, you play whatever character that you you want to to get things done. But he's gonna start. Getting, you know, he's gonna start getting crossed up, and that two edge counter is a big one. But oh my god, what? Pine, Pineberry? Excuse me. That six P two. Ooh. It's some it's some godlike conversions off of that. I did not know that she had that. Ooh, getting mixed. Yeah, that's a perfect, a perfect against Slayer on Elfelt, nonetheless. Yo, Snaggle kind of cracked. I was gonna tell you, you know, Snaggle's playing Elfelt. You know, I feel like Elfelt is a pretty underplayed character for the most part. Oh my god. Able to catch with the JD as well. Is it not to use 50 meter here? Wants to go back to neutral. Oh my god! <laughs> Does BRC in the middle of, of that get the instant overhead? All drums out, no master's hammer for shambles. And catches with the grenade. We got oh. command grab! Woo! We command grab out here. <laughs> nice little ah. frame zero after super flash. They buffed it to be that way, right? I'm not crazy. It's always been frame zero. It's always been frame zero? Okay. So you, uh, so you could never like fuzzy out of it? Nope. Okay. This, this says how much I've played against Elfo, I guess. But according oh, wow. to the frame counters, which I, I don't, I never take frame counting of the YouTube videos like, as truth of the fact for many reasons. Apparently, it's not going to be a frame zero grab anymore. In exchange for uh, becoming a. Can you can cancel into it. I, I feel like nobody's using it, so I kind of understand Arxis why they would do that, but. It is kind of funny when you would get command grab out of this character, you know? Yeah, it, it would be funny. Oh my gosh, the counter hit from the other side. Oh, and able to block the YRC. Snaggle. Full control of the match right now. Just not letting Snaggles play the game basically at all. A 6P, and just, I mean, the mix, kind of going crazy. No punish on that 2D. Oh my god. Just any time that, that it looks like Shambles is in, it's like Snaggles like, no, you're not. Yeah, Snaggles is always there with the button at the perfect time. Oh, what a close match. That's oh god. Got blood sucking um, universe instead of super. Attempted Kara super there? I I don't know. I think they thought they had a hundred meter. So they tried to do hundred meter super on the wall. And they didn't have it? I assume that's what happened. 
Lot, lots of different things that could have gone on there. Yeah. You gotta be snaggle up 2 0, though. Jamal's gonna need to make their reverse speed. Have to if they want this. Let's rock. Looking real good for Snaga right now. Slow slash. Start us off. Looking for the first time. Campbell's entering with a pretty big lead. Good 5p. Able to get them out of the air. But the back dash of the corner. No throw for you. Oh. Yeah. And there's nice super map of hunts and the close slash finding the kill. Oh, another back throw here for Snaggle. This is where the fun begins. Alright, continue your super to get that hard knockdown. What's the mix? No, just a safe oh. coming. The throw <laughs> going to whiff. A, a little whiff. I, I guess Snaggle said, I'm going to shimmy you. Nice blocks. No punish off of that. I'm, I'm pretty surprised they probably they weren't able to punish there. But it doesn't matter. Looks like Shambles is picking up this gigantic combo. It was a side switch. Oh my god, the loot. Oh, nice. Backed up. It's time. He gets the back thrown. Oh, oh wow, the double oh, over. Boy. Yo, looking like an ABBA over here? I didn't say it. It must say a lot that I didn't know that she had that. I mean, I didn't. I haven't seen Frogger use that. I never saw Nima use it either. All right, Aziz versus situation. Oh, One, oh, cross oh. <laughs> Looking oh. like Milia at the end there. Snaggle with a 3 0 over Shamble. Duel 1. Let's rock. All right, oh, they're feeling each other out. Whoa, vapor thrust lost. Why did that happen? <laughs> All right, hoop stomp. And playing flying that, that state with nice jump in. Able to find the way in. Trying to find some stagger pressure. Jump in into the throw. Safe jump. Oh, no super, no Kara cancel with this super. Oh my, the hit. And a kill cleanly found by Isazaki. Okay, one up, one up. That round count. Oh, just letting the charge stun edge rock. No L cut, no IOD, but it's not gonna matter. Isazaki, corner to corner. I like how they're controlling space here. They're, they're just using that jump age to make sure that Chonko can't escape. But Chonko trying to take this round back, put themselves on the board. At 50 meters still, the BRC forward just straight into a 5k. Many such cases against Kai. They can't. Oh no, did it RC? There it is. Oh, and blocks the wire C from Chonkla. He won Isozaki. Post round, though. The second one. I feel like, uh, as always, you, you can always tell them fighting back at the latter half of that game one. We'll see if Chonkla can come back, win it in some games for this. But Isozaki, like I said, covering space really well. That JH at mid range, just making sure that they can't jump out of the corner and I can't walk out of the corner either. Yeah, being able to lock down your opponent is, is very key to getting a lot of wins in this game. Once you get that overwhelming advantage, your opponent locked down, they're forced to hold down back in a situation where they can't backdash effectively, things start just opening up. Oh, 
Oh my. Did I beat the 6P? Yeah, it kind of looked like it did. I think it beat the. It might have just been the startup. BFD though. Doing Chonka a lot of work. Wait, why is he? Take back the turn. Okay, Chonka. With. No difference. Oh, 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 and all those went unpunished. Yeah, Most. it's it's like so close. You can you can see it there, but still, it's Ozaki coming coming off ahead at the end of that round, and eats for good measure. Then eating. Gotta gotta be hungry. <laughs> Good loss. Nope, no, like, no button there to take back the turn. Let it because Zaki kind of get away from free after that move. Ooh. And JD route? He knew him, but it was already the, the wall health was not high enough. Yeah, sometimes you just, you just gotta deal with the wall damage not being what you want it to be. How kind. Gotta end it. Is Zaki going up 2 0 over Chonkla? Uh, he's Zaki is kind of kind of putting on a clinic right now of how to beat Kai. Yeah, not a. Not getting cut off really often by, by much stuff. Like, not letting Chonkla get started at all in these situations. And keeping them in the corner very, very difficult. Oh, nice DP. And the DP gets blocked. Oh, tries to bait the burst twice, but no burst from Chonkla. Oh my god, the punishes are so tragic! Alright, 60. Getting stuff by Sun Dipper. No more meter for Chonkle, but they do have this corner control. Lots of plus frames, but not of Izuzaki has anything to say about it with that DP. Oh, by the back throw? And why is he? Just block. Oh my god, the just block. But he's still gonna be able to catch the back dash and all the salty in the corner. Oh, and the jet air hit just coming right back for Isazaki. Set point is achieved. What a wild assault! Yeah, and Good for good start in this round that you definitely need. At this point, this is it is now or never. And right now, it's looking like now. No burst that you can bait here, so you can get a full combo into that TK super to kill. Yeah. Good stuff. Oh, perfect to those seven bolded letters coming out. Very, very deep, JH. Ooh, the six keys whipping. <laughs> little, little handshake there, as it were. Oh, the stagger is coming out on top for Chonkla. Not, Zaki not dead quite yet, but looking like we're going to that game three. A people's game elbow. As I can't count, I'm sorry. You think this is the beginning of uh, that reverse trio? It very well could be. Very well could be. Man. Duel one. Let's rock. <laughs>
Oh, the, the trade, but no one's in favor. Again with the trade, slightly in Chonkla's favor though. Yeah, anytime Chonkla can send that charge stun edge across the screen, it's always gonna be good. Okay, big super, gonna be able to get the hard knockdown and positive bonus. Dagger. His doctor's afraid. To finally get that YRC out and Elk Hunt, you're gonna be able to beat that 5S and a big hit off of that 6H. But yet again, Chonkla on defense, working it back. Do you, do you think that 6H should beat 6 b No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that's six ages. It, it, it just feels like Kai, this guy's got so many of those parts that are like, stop trying to counterpoke me, you know? <laughs> yeah, although I, I am a known Kai hater. Except for Danny. When it's Danny, it's, it's straight cap. I don't think Kai players. I just think Kai's got some uh, crazy buttons. Yeah. Right. Gets the throw. 60. Yeah, as soon as that sun is out, it's way harder to jump at them because it's so predictable. And big combo here. 100 meter, so you have to burst this situation unless you want to die. Now, Kyan, no burst on Chonkla's end, so able to take us back to set point. Is Izaki looking to finish this out? Oh, big counter hit with the Wild Assault confirmed, too. Nice punish. They're going to be able to send it to the corner. No start charge stunnage, but still big pressure in the corner. Nice cross up, though. Is it no, no reaction from Chonkla? Now they're in the corner. Not blocking. DP in the air and Ooh. gonna bait the DP. Chonkla's sending us to game five for a close yeah. game four. Amazing stuff from Chonkla pulling out all the stops. And I, I love to see it. You truly do. What would Kai be without some decent buttons? He would be Stun Dipper, that's what he would be. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Looking in that Game 5, Chonkla riding that momentum, but Izuzaki not too far behind, still able to take a round back in that last game. I think they're very close to still it out. So Chonkla's gotta be careful in this Game 5 situation. But being careful, it's, it's a harder thing said than done. Because you got all those nerves running, you've got the adrenaline pumping at from the potential reverse 3 0. Oh. And Isazaki, if they got that one big good breath, they would have the nerve advantage. Only takes one combo. Chonko. A big 6 H combo. Has 50 meter as well to be able to get that hard knockdown. I guess for your life here, if you're Izazaki, they do guess correctly. Able to get back here. No reaction with the 6P! Gonna be set point for Chompa to complete that reverse 3 0. And it's looking to be possible here in the beginning of this round two. Yeah. First is on the table for Izazaki. Blocking Stun Dipper, but he could not get the secondary hit. Ooh. The jump back and able to get the full connection of the combo. Chonkla completes their reverse 3 0. Chonkla Atomic. And get ready for some good Guilty Gear Strive. Bend him on the Milia. So two extremely fast characters. Both these characters want the same thing, and it's dirty. They want to mix you up. Yeah, they want to hit you with some unfair air buttons. Nice. Catching them 
pressing something. Yeah, the throw in the corner. Ooh, tried to do a rag out, and there's that JK rising up for a wall flat into that super wall break. Oh, <laughs> with the far slash. Round zero. Oh, wow, what is the key? Yeah, trying to rescue this round back here. Only takes a few against Chip, but this is Revy with full meter, and gonna back throw them into the corner and get the win for their trouble. The trade on far slash. Oh, nine frame haver, handshake. <laughs> get back dash out of the corner and avoid the J2K and get a big punish on it. End up picking up some momentum in this round too. Doesn't get the hard knockdown, so still gonna have to play a little bit neutral versus the neutral god that is Chip. Fortunate wasted meter there and it's big counter hit. So, gonna get out of there. The, what, what a trade. Oh my gosh, the BRC confirmed? Ravi's got those? Ravi's got these? And all he needs one more hit here. YRC gonna get baited! And the close slash gonna end us off. Ravi taking that game one. Let's go, Revy. Uh, you got bias. I'm sorry, Vendom. <laughs> he's gonna. He's gonna look back on this spot. He's like, curse the bias. Who, who's this Kopi guy? God. Well, either way, we're heading into that oh, game two with Revy up one out. Vendom still battle back a little bit. We'll see if they'll be able to pick up. Oh. Around here, trying to bait burst there, but he's gonna burst himself after getting opened up. Stay in the corner, Remy says. Yeah, get that beta blade going. A gamma blade, actually, that's not beta. Oh! Rack of three! That's the punish with the throw. He gets it in, it's an overhead. No meter, though. And this is the same situation that killed them in the last round that they played, where they went back to neutral, and unfortunately, Revy coming out on top. They still have a lot of meter, though. Not full meter to be able to super RC and empty safe jump into throw. Oh, nice. And Revy getting mixed, forcing the burst out of Vendom. And I'm finding a very, very confusing jump in on Revy. Didn't know what to do. And if you're ever uncertain against Milia, that's going to be lights out. Still corner. Yeah, Revy's been really hot on these JS mixes. Here's he. This allows them to do some, some additional mix. Nice 6 feet. Able to get out of that situation and get the overhead. No burst to bait there, but they're still moving super good in this situation and gets their cross up to end the round. Vendom yeah. finally taking a round back. Absolutely. And I think Revy got hit potentially by Red RC Shockwave there, which is a very rare starter. Nice block and the JS though. Yeah. Revy Stay is in the real trouble. Yeah, Venom is keeping them, locking them down in the corner so well. Yeah, BRC, and yeah, you have to open them up after you so much bigger. Almost no resources available for them and no first for Revy though after getting opened up by Close Slash. Venom evening us up. Yeah, I think Revy was definitely trying to live long enough there in order to get burst online. Because otherwise, I think we was on a deflect shield come out to try and force Vendom a little bit away, maybe open up for a beta blade or a 6P in order to take that momentum straight away and get some space out of the corner. But sometimes the gamble just does not work out in your favor. 5P, get the nice answer here. Forcing Vendom to burst early on. I'm surprised that actually wasn't baited, but... Either way, Ben will take that, and oh my god, both players without their burst. <laughs> we get either round. Oh my gosh, look at that, that Capple doing Gapple work. Oh, but danger. 
danger is very scary. However, Venom doesn't really have a bunch of resources to lose off of a, danger, of a negative penalty. So it might not be as scary as danger time usually is. It means that they like they can't play the move in the game. They have a, they're gonna have a hard time playing it because they they're gonna lose Gator every time. But they are gonna pick this pick up. This zipping, taking the corner. Gonna kill? It is gonna kill. Oh my god! What a good combo. Yeah, didn't even need that meter, you know. <laughs> You're right. Oh, the min distance tapple. It'll it'll sneak up on you. Oh no, the beta blade that is very tragic there for Revy. Chip got saving Revy there. Is uh, the wall was a little bit too low for them to pick back up and do a combo in the corner, but Revy. Not Revy. Venom still able to find that final little bit of damage that they need to send them to, to 2-1. Yeah, and the the biggest thing that helped there was how absurdly active Milia 6P is. Revy absolutely thought after seeing that move, yeah, um, I can move forward. But when you, you can have a potential fast reaction to that, and if you have a faster than usual reaction to... Milia 6P, it's still going to be active, which is the crazy thing to think about. Oh, color switch here from Revy. All new tech. Finds the movement. Venom doing a great job of pacing Revy down in this situation with a okay, big, big kind of far slash. These situation post first usually go in Venom's favor. I mean, this is not any different. Whoa, the low. Pick up. Oh, the 16 gets with the PRC not finding anything good. Revy now in the driver's seat going through the wall. That's going to be hard knockdown. Positive bonus. Venom does have 50 meter. Try and back off. <laughs> not going to. Not gonna block the cross up and Revy with so much meter that able to close it out. Ready? Oh no! no. Gravity no is cursed. Oh, oh my God! Oh my! Yeah. Oh my! Oh, the scaling on gravity after the super was the downfall of Revy in that round. Yeah, the, the game is. Hello, Rebby. <laughs> it does not want them to win right now, but this round looking a little bit different. Big in here, we here, and Venom not able to pick up a big combo in this situation. Okay, Rebby yet again trying to build up that risk to get that kill. Big 6P though, sending Rebby back to the corner, and I mean, dangerous situation. You're, you are chipped. You can definitely kill off of this, but uh, not, not off the cross. Oh, what a far slash. That is a kill confirmed. Revy, not out of it yet. Yeah, three. One round away from that game five and our first top eight set. Nice, nice whip punish. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You get the wall break and extra mirror here. This is exactly the right situation that Venom wants, but Revy does have first. Oh, there we go. Gets the first of 6P coming out clutch. Artemis not finding anything. The Capel getting stuff. One, one last hit here for Venom. <laughs> I mean, it's looking good for Revy though. In the corner here, building up this risk yet, yet again. The throw. But there is meter on the table, YRC, and uses that threat of YRC to find a 2P. Not able to find the kill just yet, but the cap that Revy runs into will seal Revy's fate. Then to moving on in this top eight.
Dual one. Yeah, starting with the Geo. This is uh, this used to be one of my favorite matchups. You can run under five feet. Like it, it, it is. Yeah. Everyone except Zato can run under it. But her her dash goes full screen, so some of the, sometimes the, the screen just like, just gets negated. I love that stagger there. Ooh, what if an enhanced spiral arrow killed her? I do not. All the okay, questions we won't be able to ask. Oh, okay. Wake up, five feet. I see it. <laughs> not threatened by that by that BB on their wake up 5 age. Oh, not ready to confirm. Too much time playing Slayer. All right, first thing, trying to keep them in the corner. Gonna, gonna get that air dash. Last. Okay, here comes Tornado. Nice 2D. Oh, the one like the one thing I will I will say. Yeah, like yeah, her, her 2D goes under Tornado. It makes sense. And if you're standing too close, like, she's gonna kill you. This should go. Oh, okay, not often to use that meter into that combo, but it's not gonna matter. Just gonna 5D shambles up 1 0. Yeah. That that is a big big counterplay to Axel's Tornado. Yes, it's an incredibly good move because you can't ID over it. Uh it controls a lot of space for Axel. But if you have a very long disjointed button like Geo's 2D, Maze Far Slash, uh, Soul 2S even will be that way. Like buttons that can just hit Axel through it. If if he tries to be a little sneaky and get too close to you, you can absolutely hit, find a hit. And Corneo's not going to do anything then. That's exactly what Shamble showed. Great right, gold burst. Both players without the burst. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. Is a multi-hit projectile. It's that a little bit harder. Go away. It's a little bit harder to do with Spiral Arrow. Okay. Especially when they charge it up. PRC. Trying not to get hit there. Good jump in. Oh, was just too far away, and the throw gets back to allowing Empire to get a kill. Good use of that back dash there. Oh, and they're gonna be able to get the side switch here off of an ant. Oh, not going for it. Oh Eevee. my, that's a massive hit there. Nice JS. Oh, he gets the startup as well. Yeah. No combo though, yet again. Here, you were talking oh, about Air Throw. Like Slayer. Air Throw, gonna kill. Oh, nice by He catching the back dash on start. Been not gonna be able to get the full combo off of that, but 2B! Just gonna leave uh, this huge combo. Go. See, that's one of that's that comes from playing Slayer, having those combos off of just random buttons. I really want them to use this meter here. To, I, I would have liked to them use that meter there to kill, but Shambles taking us to 2-0. Empire, I, I wanna like I feel like uh, you could definitely hear the uh, the unfortunate geo bias, but just going on the other end. I feel like they're they're definitely not being careful enough with the, the way that they're trying to control space. Geo loves to like anytime you're hitting those, you can see a cham that shambles like is selecting an option to just approach approach them in one one go of it, not even having to block a lot of the stuff that Empire is throwing at them, unless they have tornado on screen, which is what makes tornado really good. For sure. oh, but you need, you need a knockdown. You need a knockdown to set up. <laughs> Oh, just dancing right over 5P. Getting Empire to the corner. The counter hit not going to be enough in Geo's favor for Shambles to get a confirm there. This is just the purpose of having Guard Crush with the dash. <laughs> yeah, set point here for Shambles. 2D round start. Very, very interesting. Something to burst there. Ooh, a little punisher on the 2S, but well, not, not in a way that Shambles can make full advantage of. And what a 5 he's oh checking that rainwater. <laughs> and the, 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 how much distance that cross up went, that was crazy. That's going to be a Shambles 3-0 over Empire. And, uh, 
<laughs> like I said, I would have picked Geo. Shambles. Because, you know, you obviously do want to say Chonkla Atomicor, but there's a way in which it rolls off in such a way that sounds like you have the double A without the double A. Oh, oh no, heat tackle. I can feel a boy's wishing. Oh my gosh, not gonna cancel Hammerfall into RC? Yeah, not, not only do they not cancel RC, one of those is like, they, they just let it rock on block and then they do it again. So. I'm very surprised we did not get a heavenly confirm in there from a boy. A boy is the, the person to go for those heavenly confirms. Maybe trying to keep it clean today. Keep it looking good. Good armor through, able to catch the staggers. Yeah, that hammer. Oh, wow, the far slash whiz. The double whiff means they're both safe. The bird's coming out from a boy. Yeah, trying to rescue this round. I see. I see, B. Yeah. I see. Oh, nice flick. Yeah, and he is through to one. Oh. <laughs> okay, hammer falls are just catching them all the time right now. And they're quite a simple ride of lightning. Garuda is great, but it often does not save Jab. Yeah. I feel like he, even as soon as they, they went to the start up there and Chonkla decided to do that, like, the, round, the round was going to be very hard to make But this round, so far, look, it's so good. Even with the 2k hitting there, they're okay with just keeping this pressure and keeping them in the corner. But Chonkla... Tom, make it out. Oh, the armor is just such a menace. Oh, there's the, the snatch with the... Oh my gosh. We got heat tackle <laughs> to finish it. A boy feeling, feeling saucy. Yeah. Pulling off a solid game one, but Chonkla Tomica taking, still taking around that game, making sure uh, still keeping some of that momentum. But going into this game too, Gonna have to pick, pick something up. Maybe do some uh, adaptation towards that armor. I don't even know what what Kai's options are against armor all the time, but I definitely think they just need to be more cognizant of what situations like are unsafe against it. Because like you could see a boy just really, really like abusing it in that in that match. Oh, absolutely. I mean, throw is always a good option against armor. Can't armor through a throw. But yeah, Chunk was just being caught out by these really well timed hammer phones. <laughs> Look at that IP. It just it lets them get so much space and not let them get pressure. Okay. Ooh, nice back dash from a boy. Yeah, so gonna get punished on the so as at this range, it, it looks like chunk has got a good idea of what they want to do. That 2S getting caught by a 6P. Now, now they've got that sizable Chunkly. PRC trying to pick it up, but Chunkly Atomica finding the round instead gets the meeting. Big 2D. <laughs> yeah, not, not sure what they were trying to hit there, but a boy. Still getting the counter in on them. But finally, the punish on Hammerfall. I think it's the first time they've done that. Oh, man. Slighthead not working out how a boy intended the throw coming out clutch. Go for the throws. Triple overhead. Getting the super after. One health in a dream for a boy. Oh, nice little, little paw buster there. Sometimes you're plus big offense. <laughs> I think they expected the 2S to come out, but either way, Chonka got to take that game back and put themselves on the board. A lot better. And not letting a boy basically armor through anything. Uh, it's it's a boy. A boy will definitely, you know, go in with this third game. The knowledge, yeah. 
All right, Chonkla is getting better at dealing with the armor. Hammerfall and maybe a little less. And get some more confirms here. Some big hits, maybe a far slash, maybe a 5H. Maybe some heat knuckle from time to time. That's a button that's been noticeably absent. I definitely think I, the, the heat knuckle is uh, is a bit mysteriously not here, but oh yeah, because Chaga is like, I am not gonna deal with this today, and it does get the shimmy. Awkward knockdown. Still gonna be able to get a little bit more damage afterwards, but it's a boy's turn here in the corner. Well, Garudas, all the Garudas. What a back dash. Oh, unfortunate cross up. <laughs> and there's shield to keep them in the corner. You're gonna get hard knockdown. What's the mix here? Just screwed up. Yeah, just screwed up. ERC, 5P to stuff an option. Ooh, missed. The 2S counter is coming in for Chonkla. Yeah, but they did spend all that burst here, so. Wrap it this round, Chonkla's gonna have to try to keep on the offensive. Try not to get in one of these situations. Although they have been pretty good at escaping. This is the armor on the far slash. Oh, another really solid back dash there from Chonkla. The boy's not able to find a pot buster to kill. And now in the hard knockdown situation. Nice back throw. throw incident. And heavenly off the wall. I forgot you could do this. They made it even easier. Doesn't kill though. And that's just gonna be it for the round. Having that 15 meter is allowing them to get through that armor. Chonkla, Atomica going. The 2 1 over a boy. A boy gonna have to. Pull off some nice adaptation in order to uh in order to take the the set back but honestly just looking from from chancla atomica just looking super good and what they want to do knowing that that they need to have 50 meter in that situation to get rid of the armor and guarantee themselves set point in games yeah and there's just a couple unfortunate things that are happening for a boy. Chonklin playing amazing with the back dashes, just stopping Pop Buster from being a interaction in this matchup so far. Whoa, what is happening? All right, cursed it. All right, don't listen to me. I mean, like they're not dead, but look at this. Look at this health difference. Already, okay, counter hit. Fifteen meter has enough to do. Charge stun edge here. Take 6 H. Chonkla doesn't have enough meter to go for hard knockdown, but they brought it a lot closer. So a boy is going to go for shield here. Good tip. Yeah. He was too good for them. Chonkla didn't have enough meter. Get through that situation. Armor yet again. Perfect. Gets it to whip as well. Ooh, nice, nice route there. Just get the hard knockdown, but that's even riskier. Oh, the back dash. So much damage here getting coming. Nice to can build up get the hard knockdown. No, but they're not gonna need it. Able to get the kill. Oh boy, sending us the game five. I mean, six feet under is also hard knockdown in a sense. <laughs> yeah, well. It's hard knockdown, but they're not getting back up. Exactly. All right, game five. The boy versus Chonkla. Who's going to adapt better in this game five? Yeah, boy has a lot of things. Started getting a lot more pop busters, There's a lot more of the really solid. Okay, now we're we're round start right up throwing. It's Truly, not a real, it's not a real high round if they don't walk up to throw you at least once. 
That round third though, that is that is some courage. Oh, almost gets it, but a little bit too early on that on that back dash punish. Finally gets the knockdown. Oh, nice back dash. Gonna be able to get to the corner. Guard stun edge. Oh, slams the low. Chonkla, Tamaka, on set point. Only needs one more round. Ooh, a boy tried to go for the double Mega Fist, but Chonkla was not pressing early like last time. Oh, oh the Garudas. <laughs> yeah, and this is adding up here, because now they have very little meter, and almost in that ship out position. I mean, Chonkla still coming to win this. Oh, good reaction. I mean, reaction to the air command grab. The, the heat knuckle was so good there, but a oh boy still going to be able to find it and take us to game five last round. Amazing. That trade was crazy. And Far Slash yet again. Getting stuffed Three, by the armor. Four. How many? Oh, only four Druid is in this string. Man, look, look at that defense. The, the IP in that situation. And the deflect shield into Hammerfall. Oh, no one's going to have burst at all. We're giving it all up. Oh, my. He, the he got him. Is it going to call the way Bill? Yeah, it's a combo. It's not a kill. Not even hard knockdown. Chungla has 50 burst. But they both have 50 meter. Here comes a second okay, again. So you cannot DP it. Back throw. A big 5 each, but it doesn't combo in this charge stun edge. Oh, my all assault. And Zin. Such scary game. And his one touch either side. The next hit that Chunkla gets will get 50 meter. First, almost on the table. There is Stun Dipper. Oh, actually will not kill because the Stun Dipper is scaling 50 meter here for a boy. The gold burst not oh. working out. Now a boy gets to jump on in. Chip is a factor. The DP will take out a boy. Look how close it is. <laughs> he had, he had. Duel one. Let's rock. Yeah, Walter being nice and patient. Wants to see how Isozaki is going to run the first interaction. And for that prudency. Already 50% life down, positive bonus unlocked. Yeah, I mean, now it's next up city. You have to be able to get back on your feet in this situation, but opting to use burst to do just that. Got it. Walter in the corner. Walter escaping and Ooh. able to get that close slash on the JD. Not going to find the kill just yet. Well, it was the life differential. This all oh, could not get the JP to hit. Oh, God, that is a very unfortunate. Oh, nice, nice air tech. tech. With the 2K finally finishing it out. And Walter with their burst still intact. Let's rock. 2K duty. Just starting off the Nyx. Able to get a good knockdown on the corner. Using that Artemis to get a bounce hit on the wall. But it's so smart. Being able to guarantee that you can left right in that next situation. Oh no. For Walter, Walter looking so strong already in this first game. Not letting Izuzaki get anything new. Oh, absolutely. That, that's how Walter likes to play, right? He does, Walter doesn't like to let anyone else play the game. It's a single player solitaire. That is Walter's ideal strive. It's definitely a rare situation when people are playing the game versus Walter, for sure. What? Heading into this game too is Zaki. Dual. Yeah. 
I'm gonna need to find any openings here because this was not able to find anything in that last game. And yet again, right? Cross up. Not seeing you use burst really on the round. You're gonna be able to get it back later, so not too bad a decision. Oh wow, the max range of Milia close slash there. Opting to burst that situation. Nice. Air car punish. Woo. Oh my, the big old counter hit from across the way. Another counter hit. And able to finish off with the super. Walter still continuing their dominance. But that round, a lot closer than the previous. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Isa, Isazaki is finding little bits here and there that are allowing for some damage to go onto Walter. But the problem is, gotta convert those hits into more than just hits here and there. Gotta get the round. First, having to come out is very scary. And Walter's really good in these posts. Like, you, you, you're forced to use Burst in the situation, or you're forced to use Wire Seat. And I feel like Walt is one of the best players at actually like, making it awkward to continue your pressure after you use that. And you saw it right there. I mean, still managed to get back in, able to punish them, take us to 2 0 with Walter up. Absolutely, Walter just charging on through. Wanted, you know, saw the very close match of a boy and said, you know what? This top eight needs a little speed up. Just trying to go to sleep. <laughs> Got school in the morning. Do I gotta go to work. Let's Give me my $30. Walter says. Good burst coming out from Isazaki. The change hit it on the backside. Look at this risk right now. It's not very often that Melia built that risk, but that was how much Izazaki was forced to block there. And now that they're being opened up, it's just like, round not looking too good. And the round flipping away. Set point with that big old perfect. Also getting that frame trap. Another knockdown. It's the cross up overhead. Oh my, another massive close slash. The Artemis combo. A double perfect to end the set. Dual one. Yeah, I think I said it earlier. Such a classic matchup. You know, the, the rush down step play character versus the grappler. Yeah, oh, the JH coming in. A boy finding a gold burst. Yo, I did not think there was any frames for gold burst to come out, but a boy found them. Oh, almost gets to the back dash. No punish, though. I'm kind of surprised why, why nobody has uh, tried to punish Hammer Ball in these situations. Nice use of Heavenly to oh, get out of there. Press. Yeah, you have to, I think this match, you have to be extra careful about trying to challenge them coming down, because I swear, those air buttons are menaces. Okay, stay in the corner, nice 5D, able to combo into that heart knockdown in the next screen. All right, not carring, close enough. Nice 5 feet to catch with no full combo. Yeah, that link with the 2S is not coming out today. The capital catches a boy. There's 100 meters, so we can definitely see. Yep, Heavenly sees it. Oh. Goes for the JD. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Ben does a rack fast enough to block overhead. Not foot falling for the 6P trap. Down, catches the back dash. Not a big conversion off of it, but this hammer fall is going to give you some pretty good oak. Yeah. Nice, yep, the good old double Garuda into Pop Buster. And to, now you're struggling for your life and you're actually just dead. I, 
There's that 5p 2s link. Gets behind them, but not trying to punish. But still gets them into the corner. And um, looking super good. No overhead or low there, just throw. And catches the Mega Fist. Yeah, Bash Mega Fist not working out there. Lots of super meter here. Oh, the, the flex field not working, but not getting punished. One more chance. All a boy gets. Gets another chance with the flex shield. Or maybe super PRC. Super. I'm actually surprised that did not catch out 6H. Maybe just went grounded a little too soon. Either way, that's Vendom. Thank you, up. Has that only been one game? That was game one. Wow. I thought that was game two for some reason. Getting Duel confused. One. <laughs> we're, we're in it for the long call with a boy. It, it is true. Okay. Bendon blocked the first one, but not able to get that third mix up. Nice 2P though. To interrupt. Oh, the 6 big counter hit really did mess up what Vendom wanted to do, and there's oh. a raw <laughs> heavenly. Yeah, just canceling directly into it. One of the great options that you can do right out of hammer call. Wouldn't be a strive turn if you didn't at least see that one. I feel like. Ooh, the blocks didn't get the low block after the 5P. Amazing. Boy fighting back. Oh, back dash in from that far away. You know there's only a far slash gonna come out. Maybe a 5H and that second pop buster will pop that life total down to zero. What's this with the perfect as well? It looks like both players are still in the room. So no, no technical difficulties quite yet. Getting back into it. Kind of an explosive match. Oh yeah, it's definitely been that swing back and forth kind of set for right now. Gold burst coming out once again. Getting punched by the armor. The, the use of Hammerfall is like, I feel like a boy is trying to abuse the, the armor a lot in these situations. But Vendum, puts that up for some okay in the corner, steals the corner. Not, a boy not able to keep them there, so. Oh, yeah, does get to block hair car, which is a nice confirmed that close slash and ends it with the hot buster. That was an interesting combo, but end him coming down. And a boy looking to take advantage. 2S. Oh, that was such an awkward 2S counter hit. I, I do not blame a boy at all for not being able to confirm that in the manner that was wished. Oh, the BRC, and Perfect. what a quick game that was from a boy. Something switched. Yeah, blink and you'll miss it. But such as Potemkin versus uh, Milia. Sometimes Milia just dies. Yeah. Sometimes it, it is like that. I think they improved upon that a lot since, the, since launch, but some things... Ne never change, for sure. <laughs> this matchup, still, still kind of, despite how good both these characters are, like, still feels kind of silly. Nice catch on the back dash, and that's Venom taking a lot of damage early on here. Oh, nice. Boy, 
One round away, set point here. To go to lose a semi is guaranteed fourth place. Random has something to say about it right now and forces the boys the boys burst out. Nice 2P. Okay. Oh nice. my god. <laughs> it'll, it'll just happen to you. You know, sometimes you're in melee just flying around. And uh yeah, you just get caught by that and it, it looks like it might be over. One health right now and a tree and it catches the back dash yet again from Bendo. A boy gonna go to lose your semis. You, you, you want to bully? That's why. That's why I'm playing that matchup. Well, see, this matchup, not very bullying. I, this is one of the more interesting matchups I think for Geo, just because rushdown versus rushdown, and both characters definitely want to get in super quickly. So, and no safe jump. Just gonna play it safe there, but gonna punish something with that far slash. This is Aki, not able to breathe right now, but I just block will be able to get the back. Oh, the clash with the DP off of 2D, where that button really does shine. Oh, I think at a, at a higher level, it's like a weird thing, but you should always be ready for, for flash camps off your DPs, especially against characters like Geo, who love to do like weird flash things, put 2D on your wake up. Okay. YRC, trying to take that back their turn again. So the meter penalty is getting pretty severe here for Izuzaki. But yeah. that's okay. Oh, the counter hit and finds the confirm. One round apiece. Oh, minus four, no, no punish, but Gambles is going to get caught trying to backdash out of there. And yet again, trying to caught back, trying to backdash out of there with that DP. And that is one guess left for Shambles in this game. The 5P telling out Izozaki. And now the blender, it becomes a start. There's so much meter on the table. The 6P. Yeah. Good reaction from Izozaki. Not, not letting themselves get hit by that. Because... You don't. You don't want to know what Shambles <laughs> is going to do with that much meter in that situation, especially after you block that. So, go into that game two. Izuzaki up, but Shambles not out of it yet. Duel one. Let's rock. Oh, nice! Gets the two K. 6P, uh, not often used frame trap. I think they still did 5K, 5K, 6K. But either way, I mean, Izuzaki just, just battling back. Oh, oh, the whiff on the throw and gets caught by the 2P, but not in a way that allowed Izuzaki to combo off of it. That's the important thing. Good catch though from Shambles. Oh, the throw whiff. And that is very unfortunate. That is a kill. He's talking he's just on something else right now. I agree. But I'm surprised that I'm not seeing Shambles set up for any safe jump setup here. They have been getting hit by the CP. And it's the walk up throw. And you can see that they feel threatened by it, but either way, this is Zaki. Good stagger in the corner. With the 2D low profile, okay. Yeah. Oh, was it was it a drop or was it a frame kill for a reset? The world may never know. I think it was both. <laughs> they, they dropped and it's like, this is gonna frame kill. And it did. Able to get the punish off, but they jump over it. Oh, no oh whoa. <laughs> whoa! Okay, Campbell. 
Yeah, taking advantage of that whip. I forgot she could do that, but it is very threatening. Five feet staggers here, yet again. Super threatening and going low instead of going high there. Off of the RSC. Shambles on the board. Yeah. Pulling off some crazy strike throw stuff to take down Suzaki in that game too, but not, not without some hard work because that was definitely hard earned. This is yeah. still in it right now. Kind of Absolutely back. earned. Duel one. Let's rock. She's a good Nice cross up. But CD goes under the 6 oh, oh my, whoa. Things are happening. Okay. I have never seen that before, but kind of crazy. Very low health here for Izazaki. And it's that 5D. Very hard to react to. She is one of the more natural looking 5D. And gets counter hit. And that's going to be a nice reset that Shambles is looking for. Keep that kill going. Now it touches death, blocking the purse. Clean. Clean game two. Or game three over Izuzaki. But what's the answer here for Izuzaki? Because definitely getting called out on defense a lot. Huh, I, you know, Geo is a little difficult to defend against because strike throw character, right? There's like the strike throw defense and situation in stride. It's so nuanced. But I think uh, Isasaki has been letting Shambles get away with enhanced spiral arrow Oki, which is when you have a DP, never true. Oh, you can see this is that. That was exactly why they've been afraid of DP. Because Shambles beating it out a little bit. Going back low. Good block, though, from Izazaki. Able to waste the resources. Get back in. Oh my. Yeah, Shambles just baited out the DP again. Sometimes the most powerful thing you can do is do nothing. Maybe a little bit too predictable on that, on that one. But Zaki stuck in the corner yet again. Can it QS counter it? Yeah, QS is so good at beating fuzzy timing. Even that fuzzy match can be in danger. Oh my god! That's gonna be a kill. Could have even just gone close slash in to reversal super, but Shambles does not need it. 3 1. We'll be moving on to face a boy. Did you see how they did 5 H enhance? Dual 1. Let's rock. The, the Kai Spirit Ball. Alright, well, if you might need it against someone as good as a Walter up here in this winner's final. Nice Artemis. Oh, the air still not going to bite anything from Walter this time. Okay. Finds the way punish with 2k 2d though. And uh, Walter taking pretty big health lead. Yeah, and that, oh no, gonna get a confirm there. And Ankla will take it to even taking away it. Also first, even with Walter having a hundred meters. Did you see it? That was a crazy air, a crazy air movement to be able to get out of the way of that 2K on the ground. But so gonna be sent back to the corner, 50 meters, and Ankla unfortunately gonna lose out there in that situation. Walter taking yeah. that first round. Started to block Bad Moon, got hit by the later hits. Potentially thought Walter was going to fast RC into a, a low a little bit sooner. And Walter was just ready to let, let the Bad Moon rock a little bit. Knockdown, safe jump, 
six H starter as well on the counter hit. Fortunate low wall health, but still gonna be an advantageous situation for Walter going in this next. Honestly, I think Walter wanted that high wall damage there. Allowed for this situation where it was knocked through. It wasn't burst into the wall break. And what? A great burst bait coming out. Walter taking game number one. Yeah, good stuff too, Walter. As soon as you see them launch into the air, you know Walter is just trying to bait every single mega burst, every single hit that they're doing there. So very, very hard character and player to burst against just because of how cognizant they are in those combos. Going into game two. Chonkla not out of it. Not by a long shot. Yeah, Walter with the classic just patience on round start. Definitely a scary thing when you see all your opponents doing in round start. Just walk back, stand there. Menacing. Game. Almost got that whip punish on couple of bar slash. Nice TP. Finally, he finds the anterior onto the bat. Apple gapping a little bit. The overhead. And get into the super. Wants the extra damage. Wants that hard knockdown as well. Oh, wait, is this UP gonna be safe? No, it's it is not. not! Wow! Oh my gosh, this is the raw energy of run up throw. Yeah, and it's forcing Walter to run away. They don't want to let this round get away from them. That might be. Yeah, it's just way too far away for a solid confirm. And the J8 air to air. Chonkla going down around, but again, not without a fight. And oh, unfortunate miss on Dire Claire. Oh, <laughs> the fact that the 2P guarantees the wall stick there is kind of crazy. Yeah. Oh, the run under Fooder arc. Amazing. Daggers waiting for the birds. Chonkla is able to get it off. Not the yet again. Oh no, the throw whiff from Walter. Chunk, we're gonna take it. And yes, the capital not going to stop Vapor Thrust this time. Oh, that's gonna be it for game. Oh, no. Little RC, but the far slash punishes whatever option that Chunk decided to do on Wake yep. Up. And we're the gonna go throw to was not effective. All right, Kairos. Is this unfortunately has to be the start of the reverse 3L for Chonkla Tomka is not looking good with Walter up 2-0 right now. But this is this these this is how crazy stories start. That's all I'm saying, okay? Crazier things have happened. Chocolate take out the fundamentals. <laughs> Oh, the chip? Is that what's meant? Is that what's meant by it? Dual one. Let's rock. Okay. Nice interruption. Are you going to start pretty well? And despite the, the clone getting hit there, giving up the advantage here at the corner. Oh my, what a JS. Oh, the hair are just completely going the wrong direction. Yeah. <laughs> Driving away. No DP. Not gonna kill us quite yet, but very low health and you are also chipped. On the positive side, you didn't use, you didn't use versus this round, but you are still in 2K2D. And yeah, two delayed on that Rekka three. Especially if you're gonna do Rekka three like this patch, because of how fast you can just immediately cancel into it. A lot of people who like that move tend to uh, just cancel directly into it off of the other first Rekka. 
Oh, and this is looking to be it. Super to end it. That's going to yeah. be 3 0 for Walter. Yep, Walter moving on to that winner's side grand. Finals, a boy versus WTE Shambles. Oh, gold burst. A boy is, is a giant fan of the gold burst tonight. Weird punish, but still able to get their pressure started. That, oh, that is a weird trade. All right, just going immediately to the pressure. Nice 6P reaction, though, from Shambles. Oh, they Gonna kill? Alright. Yeah. The dash 5k round start. Oh, nice burst. Not gonna get Pop Buster today. Man, Shambles is so strong. Smash already. Boy. Not out of it. Gold burst yet again. Only burst are gold burst. It has so much meter now. I mean, this round can go either way now. But 5P, just say no to the interaction. ERC. No punish. Yeah. RC after throw. Gonna give Shambles. Yep. The boy is kind of going through it, having so many of these tough sets to being fought. What do you think about the... <laughs> so what do you think about the dominance? But honestly, a boy... Is able to fight back just mostly with those gold bursts. It's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> kind of weird about a gold burst. I mean, a good gold burst can help so much. Being just full, full on. It's like if you can well time it enough, make use of that positive bonus for the short amount of time. The gold burst can change everything. It's true. And a boy is gonna need a gold burst in this situation because yet again. Needs to be a disadvantage here up against Shambles. Big damage. Oh, this is getting blocked. But there is a hundred meter. First, there goes Gur Guru, not Guru, Giganter. Tackle. Good blocks of Shambles. So oh careful. my wires see straight into Pop Buster. You'll love to see it. <laughs> Going for the cross up, trying to surprise them at least a little bit here. Two S just whipping completely. And Shambles able to pick up this pressure. Wonder if that just does extra damage. I've never seen anyone do that on the BRC. Who knows, but hey, the round has been won. That's all that matters. Might, might be able to flip themselves up at 2-0, but not if any if a boy has anything to say about it right now. Just white wall assaulting in and getting that big pop up here off of Garuda. Oh my, found Shambles pressing a button. Just like that, that's hug time. Yeah, getting gripped on the startup of that uh, two through six H, not H K. Oh my, <laughs> brain don't work. But Spyro is throwable on that startup. Startup, so yeah. good stuff to a boy. And taking us to a, a, another first or two situation, whoever can, whoever can clutch up these uh, these games is going to be our winner. 
gonna be taking us to that top three. Absolutely, that 2S finding a big counter hit. And Shambles not able to get a wall break, but we continue it going. The, uh, the Vortex was just going on there. No hard knockdown, so has to use RC to keep himself safe. Keep catches something. Rare Wild Assault counter hit. A little too late on that Mega Fist punish. And a boy's gonna take that to a Pop Buster. Look at this wrist. Battling up. Oh my god, but. Okay, Shambles able to get the cross up and switch around the situation. Hard five hit. No! Oh, gold first getting punished. Wait. A little bit too far from Shambles. And Shambles getting the perfect punish on that, from what it seems like. Oh, couldn't get the wall splat to kill. The dust gets blocked, but. Spiral arrow coming in clutch. 2-1 now for Shambles. One a game away from that loser's final spot. For sure. And a oh boy, gonna have to figure out something in this game for the battle back right now because life is on the line in the tournament. You want to get yourself in that money. Get yourself a part of that $44 pop. Duel one. Not yet. Okay. I've seen a boy go for a lot of those round starts forward uh, uh, Mega Fist. Very interesting. I'm trying to definitely call some slower options out, but it's a, it's a very big risk to take with front Mega Fist. For sure. Shambles getting the cross up. Bar slash. I mean, th th this game is just oh, entirely a boy up until that moment. Good punish, though, from Shambles. Oh my gosh, the pressure, it just doesn't end. And Shambles is going to opt to keep the corner, but a boy fights out. That's a counter hit, Garuda. That is 2 2. Game 5. Here we go. Yeah. A boy stepping up, taking us to a game five, making it real close. This is like, we've had a, uh, quite a few close sets, I feel like, today. Not more than, uh, not the most, but lots of uh, close three ones or three twos. Dual one. But a boy trying to make it back. Face off against, against Chonkla. Shambles trying to get the rematch versus, uh, versus Walter. Oh my, that was an interesting interaction right there. Far slash. Big, it's multi hit and beautiful self. Yeah, usually you do end up getting punished earlier by that armor, but because of how, how long. They had to hit them in the armor. It ended up working out for a boy. But P RC. I mean, this round is probably over. Over it is. Yeah, we're gonna get five P when he was in right Hulk mode. It's true. No burst for a boy. Oh well. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna get it back anyway, but still very low health here. Ooh. And they end up on the other side! They calling oh, out, the but... Five, and no DP coming out from Shambles. This is a do or die situation for a boy, and they're gonna be able to get it on the first one. Five deep charge. You have to get the... No, you don't even have to get wall break there to send us to a final, final round. A boy versus Shambles for third place. First. First coming out from Shambles right now. Nice back dash. Trying to bait out the burst desperately. No punish there. No punish. Oh, 
And wow, what a 2S. Oh. And that will take it. A boy moving on. Yeah. I, I, I was just in disbelief just because the, the scramble at the end. Um, squad, it's your time once again. Send all your love to Tronkatonka and send all your money to that match arena. I believe he already gave all our codes. But if you want to complete one of those monster quests, it'd be very helpful for that pop. But a boy looking, looking to take this round one. The boy came out of the gate swinging. Oh, the 2P gets to C. And that's a vapor thrust for thee. Ankla. <laughs> Coming back to the threat so strongly. So much pressure here in the corner. What? Let's go, boy. I forgot it worked like that. Oh, boy. Getting multiple of those on the stream today. Sometimes people just come into your loving arms, you know? Yeah. yeah it, oh my gosh, there it is. Yeah. Speaking of loving, loving arms, you know, Chaka Tamika is understanding what it feels like to be hugged by a, a big man in a suit. And 50 50 situation ends up using the flex shield. I respect it. Uh -oh, and again, uh -oh. though, guess you're alive. And, and it's, I think they tried to DP in the air there, but did it a little bit too early. The shield was still there. 1 0 for a boy. Still looking like Chonkla could do it though. Chonkla needs to be. Maybe these round starts, I think. I feel like they lose a lot of momentum at the, at the early part of the round and some of these harder opponents. But as I say it, of course, they pick, pick them up. Oh my gosh, the pop buzzer, the TP came out. Woo. Jumping over, but 5P check. Make sure that nothing happens. Okay. <laughs> the calm, the Bobo? Bobo? And, and Heavenly Dew? The damage and going for the wall break? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. You might not be dead, but uh, you might as well be. Yeah. Oh my. Oh, did not go for the throw in between, right? The lightning hit. You have enough meter here. Scenario. That's the question. I was almost getting close, though. Gone close. Alright, coming back in that room. Back to the corner. Nice checks here from a boy, but good air movement. Get themselves out of the situation. A boy using the flex superbly. Get off. Oh no, the vapor thrust coming out. Oh wow, what a hard flash. That's the jump, JK. Big damage. Able to get, like, almost able to get 50 meter very, very quickly here. So, very advantageous for Chonkla. And big combo ended out. Go take us to a round three here in game two of Luzu's final. Trying to flick it. It's not working out 6P. Stuffing those buttons as well. Oh, no hard knockdown off that. What probably was the target. Yeah. 
in the corner very oh. low situation 5p to end it yet again the 5p checks really coming in handy for a boy oh. 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 that's gonna be 2-0 for a boy right now uh so um patch notes know. dropped I was gonna say, why are you so quiet? <laughs> that was why. Uh, no, the maze, match notes are here. Maze five K far slash and two S all have more startup, but they buffed her damage and her, and she reduced the amount of damage she takes. You know, it, it's a good thing. Uh, I'm I'm only a common. All right, punish two K C D. All right, guys, go crazy with those patch notes in the, those, in the chat. We'll still be here commentating. Great match. Oh! Yo, combos? Bombos? All right, not able to get that 2H. Wait, good whip punish the 2S. Two, the two 2S, 2S. Two S, two S. <laughs> Finally gonna stop with that stun zipper. And honestly, you gotta be careful, boy, because all this playing around, playing. I burn you. This high damage does not mess around. No, oh, it really does not. Oh my! He knew. He was waiting. It's set point here for a boy to go to grand finals against Wolverine. Oh my! Oh, gets a good back dash. Can't wait. Try to bait burst there. Keeping them from escaping the corner as well. The flex shield is gonna give them a little bit of leeway here. Also, going back to his screen. That's the beauty of them right now. Oh no! What the what? Why didn't that work? Oh no. Oh uh oh. Uh oh, oh wow, there's a pop buster and a boy. But a 3 0. That's, that's gonna be it for Chonkla Tonka. Great run from them, though. Be able to make that winner's, final, winner's finals to get third today. Good stuff to them. Hell yeah. Duel 1. I'm sure you know if you've been watching. But if you haven't, tune in because this is gonna be a good match. These two always having some good sets. Armor, armor through. I'm giving Walter a really hard time here already. Yeah. I mean, that is really what a boy's path to victory is gonna be in this set. It's just not letting Walter get started. As I say, as Walter gets started immediately. Yeah, and but Walter has to play perfect here. Not the highest damage on the character, not the highest meter gain, so you're not gonna get much leeway, and a boy's gonna take advantage. Oh, nice. Nice burst. Getting. Walter oh, off, yeah. trying to stop Walter from coming in, but Walter just stood there nice and patient. Not, not blocking the triple over there. But it's gonna be hard knockdown for the troubles. And one. Okay! <laughs> Alright, well, that'll happen to you. It can, and it, it, it might. But good punish here. If you're Walter, not again. Another chance here for a boy to come back. 50 meter as well here. So they're going to have another chance to try to just grab Walter. A Walter is able to jump out of there. Most players really close on that first. So no real resource 
advantage here. Oh my. Oh, we're waiting for the burst. A burst that did not come out. Yeah, I love the patience here from Walter. I wonder what they were trying to press there. Maybe they're trying to go for the Mega Fist like they've been doing a lot. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh what? <laughs> what conditioning from a boy right there. Yeah, a boy. Goldbirds? Get, what? Get on out. Goldbirds? Both players have a meter, but avoid not able to block that bad moon. And it goes down 1 0 in set one. Walter is just so clean with it at all times. It does not matter how you try and shake him up. You, you can just always see the experience in the way he plays on and never gives up in basically any round. And then like being so relentless on offense as well, not being afraid to go take a few risks, especially when they have meter. Man. Duel one. Let's rock. Let's start here. Oh! <laughs> yeah, showing off. Some of that knowledge still that that had to be like a lab monster thing. Like you 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 like if you're Walter, like I can only imagine that that's the thing that you know how to do because like you've practiced that a million times. Yeah, and that is Walter's biggest strength is just how much labbing has been done on multiple characters. So not only lab against it, but learn them. Yeah, I, I think especially the characters that they learned, eh, hey, yeah. At that round start, if you end up, if they end up being RC there, yeah, it's going to be a free throw for them. Okay, uh, <laughs> eight knuckle round start. Round over, question mark? <laughs> no, it's never over. It's never over, but in the corner here, 50 meter, guess your, for your life. Oh, Walter? You know, we were talking about the experience on, on defense and offense there. They lasted so long in the corner there, but still going to be a perfect in the end for a boy. Ooh. Good mirage through and rewarded beautifully with the mix. And what side would you block? It was the wrong one. Oh, finds the jump in. Can you get the free disc knocked down here? The Mega Fist is getting. Oh, okay. Very low health still. Walter with 50 meter, and that means they get to convert in this situation. Walter putting themselves in set point position. Uh, only needing that one last game to take Aragon, GG Strive, number nine. Yeah. And I mean, if Walter does this, only drop in one game would be wild. That is such yes. a clean run. Some would <laughs> even say a fresh run. Like, you don't see a lot of, like, the usual faces to today, so I feel like this is a good opportunity for a lot of players to make that top eight. But Walter's like, today's a good day to ensure my absolute dominance. And it's just looking to be true right now. Like, only one game dropped, and not looking to drop even around right now. Trying looking very, very good. Oh, nice back throw. <laughs> the, the, the buffer, the the buffer there is uh, is very silly. Good, good fuzzy, and good patience though as well from Walter. Ooh. And that's gonna be a round win. This is now tournament point locked in. 
Only one more needed for Walter here. Round star 5D. Good cross up. Oh, nice. Yeah, only only needs a few more interactions here. I don't think they can kill. They might be able to kill off of this. They still have 50 meter. Yeah, it's going to. That means that Walter is gonna. Oh, no. a boy just taking the quick way out. <sighs> Sending the GGs over to Walter's way.